So now in this section, we are going to learn about the card widget in Flutter. A card is a panel with slightly rounded borders and some little elevation shadow and mostly is used to represent some kind of related information for example an album, contact details or geographical location or some music related information. And on the emulator, you can also see that's how a single card looks like. It has a bit rounded borders and some little elevation shadow you can see at the bottom of the single card. So to create a card just like this one and to show it in the list view just like this, we have again this simple Flutter application with one app bar and inside this we have the text of Flutter card widget. So to create the card in Flutter application just like the one you have seen, for that at the body of the scaffold we are going to have the card widget provided by the flutter material design and it has the property of child so inside the child of the card we are going to have the column and inside its property of children which accepts the list of widgets the column is because if you go to the test project here we have the title and the subtitle and also we have down here some space between this content and also these two buttons so that's why there will be a column in the child of the card so let's go back to our application and inside this column we are going to have the list style and at the leading property of the list style we are going to have an icon of music note and its size is 30 and in the title property of the list style we are going to have the text widget and inside some text of unknown artist and also for the subtitle we have got the text widget and inside we have some text now after this Ctrl S to hot reload and you can see we got the list style with the leading widget of this icon and the title and the subtitle and also let's go for creating the buttons so for that we will put a comma in here and then we are going to have a row as we are going to have two buttons aligned at the end of the card and then also the main axis alignment of the row will be at the end as our buttons is going to be aligned at the end of the card and inside the children property of the row we got the two text buttons now after this Ctrl S to hot reload and we got these two buttons in here and also to give some margin to this card we have the property of the margin inside the card so we will pass edge inserts from all side 10 and you can see we got our single card which for now has got the full available space so why is that? that is because inside the card widget we have the child that is the column and inside this column we have the property of main exercise which is by default set to main exercise dot max which means that the height of the column will be maximum according to the incoming constraints from the parent of the column so the incoming constraint from the column parent which is called is maximum by default as its width and height are not specified so that's why we got the maximum height of our column now to overcome this we will set the main exercise to main exercise dot min which again means that the height of the column will be according to the combined height of its children and incoming height from the parent is ignored meaning that it will get only the size that is available for the children of the column and the incoming height from the parent widget which is card that will be ignored so after this control as to hot reload and you can see we got a single card that is in here with some rounded borders and some elevation shadow and it has got now only the height that is gotten by its children but the parent height or constraints are ignored just because of this property of the column and by default it is max if you set it again to max control as to hurt load and it again got the maximum size constraints or height constraints coming from its parent and also alternatively you can also do let's comment this main exercise out and in here wrap this card widget with the container and simply specify any height you want just like I specified 300 now ctrl s to hurt reload and you can see we got the 300 height for our card so now let's ctrl z and undo all these containers and get only the min main exercise that is the size of that is gotten by the children of this column now ctrl s to hurt reload and that's what we want so now to show this card in the list view we will close this card and we'll cut this from here and here we will create a method that will be the card item and inside the body of this card item we will return our card widget and if you open this that is our card widget which we have copied from here now in the body here we are going to have the list view and the builder constructor of the list view and then the item builder property which accepts the context and index and in the return we will return our card item and also 
the item counts will be 20 just like this now control s to hurt reload and you can see we got our card widgets just like this in the list view so that's how you can create your card in flutter application and you can modify it any way you want it and you will get to know more about this card widget in the future videos when you go forward for real app development and we start using all of these widgets in one real application so that was it for our card widget in flutter application and you will get to know more about this in the future videos and also if you want to learn more about this card widget head over to flutter.dev where you'll find more awesome documentation written by the flutter developers so hope this will be helpful for you if you want to learn more about this card widget